Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan. Today is Sunday morning. It is about 9 a.m. and I'm getting ready to go into Walmart to get my groceries for this week. Uh, we are just starting out the month of August. It is, what, the 4th, August 4th when I'm filming this. I do post my grocery hauls a week behind just because I need a chance to get those edited and uploaded. Um, but we have a ton of travel coming up this month and so... I'm going to be having some easier dinners probably as we prepare to uh, go out of town this weekend and as I'm traveling more for work. So last week I tried something new and started posting uh, a PDF printable of my meal plan in the description box and then I also went ahead and typed out the meal plan and put that in the description box as well. So that's something that I'll continue to do um, if you guys like that. I think that it's particularly helpful uh, for me to go back and reference recipes. If someone asks me like where to find a particular recipe, it's nice to just have those. So I'll continue to do that. It's not a huge deal just to type it out. And I think that printable is nice too because then you can you know, print that off at home and make your grocery list based on it if you want to. Uh, the links for any recipes will be included also if I get those online. So let me go in and grab what I need and then when we get home, I will show you what I got. All right, so I am back from the store. I spent about $170 on food. I know there's always a discussion on whether it's cheaper to buy processed food or non-processed food, and this week I actually bought more processed food um, than normal, just for convenience, and I actually spent more. So, I don't know, I think it depends definitely, but um, let's get started with the produce. So. They had green grapes on sale today, and I typically buy red grapes. I don't know why. I just have always thought that they're sweeter, but I decided to try these seedless green grapes. I got some uh, Granny Smith apples. Connor really likes these, and then two bell peppers, one orange and one red just for like snacking and recipes, and then I got also some tomatoes for sandwiches. I actually have um, two packages of cherry tomatoes left over from the previous week that I need to get used up, so I didn't need any of those. I got one English cucumber, um, a package of raspberries. Kira really likes those. Someone told me to try out these um, sun gold kiwi fruit, so they're actually like yellow inside instead of green. And um, I found them at Walmart, which is odd because sometimes stuff like this we can't find around here, so I look forward to trying those um, and see if we like them. I got some green onions some zucchinis so we had a career day this past week at my work and one of the places that we went was to visit some of the dietitians in the hospital and they had cooked some marinara sauce with zoodles and Kira tried it and she actually liked it so I am planning on making that this week um, there's a bolognese sauce recipe that I want to try and so I thought I would make some zoodles with that uh, I got some shredded lettuce to make some wraps and then some strawberries. They look a little bit better this week than they did last week, but the kids really like them, so I usually buy a two-pound um, box and then cut them up, and or wash them, cut them up, and then the kids can have them this week for breakfast and lunches. I got a half gallon of 2% milk. Um, Connor really likes yogurt smoothies, and I was looking at the different ones that they had, and so I ended up getting this one, which is the Light and Fit Strawberry Banana. So this actually has five grams of fiber and 10 grams of protein in it. So it's a little bit healthier, I think, than some of the kids specific ones. I got some ranch dip. Um, normally I would make this homemade, but I'm probably not gonna have time this weekend. So I just went ahead and got the um, Walmart brand. I have no idea if this is good or not. So let me know if you've tried this. And then I got some ham for um, sandwiches, some sharp cheddar cheese sticks for snacks. Um, one night this week is going to be tacos and so I got some shredded cheese and then for sandwiches and we're going to have impossible, wait, is that what they call, they're called? Beyond Meat Burgers? I don't know, for dinner tonight. So I got some sliced cheese. Um, I grabbed some hot dogs to keep in the refrigerator um, just for a quick meal. Some bologna. I haven't bought bologna in a while but I love, I think, actually I think we all like bologna sandwiches so I grabbed a just a package of the Oscar Mayer beef bologna. And then this was pre-sliced in the deli section. So this is just um, sliced 
deli sliced chicken breast. It's a small package. It was only $2.69. So I grabbed that for sandwiches. Um, when I make wraps, I usually like to spread a little bit of cream cheese on the tortilla so that when it rolls up, it sticks together. And so I just went ahead and got the chive and onion cream cheese. Um, I got the kids some of the individual bottles of chocolate milk. This is just the Walmart brand. Two dozen eggs because we are, we, I think we only have one egg left in the refrigerator and I usually like to keep two dozen on hand because we eat eggs for breakfast a lot and then obviously for cooking and baking also. Um, okay, so Kira requests like sausage for breakfast a lot and she does not like ham and so sometimes for breakfast she'll want like she want me to make her like a taco, like a tortilla with ham or a tortilla with egg and sausage in it. And so I thought I would just get this turkey um, sausage. It's fully cooked, so all you have to do is heat it up in the microwave. So I don't, I don't think I've ever seen this before. I don't know if it's new, but I've never, we've never tried it before. But I figured we would give it a try for breakfast for her. Um, I got two packages of yogurt. So one of the Activia strawberry. I haven't bought this in a long time, but I used to buy it. Um, frequently and I know it's good and then Connor really likes the orange great value yogurt and I know I've talked about this before but it does have less sugar than the Yoplait brand um, I got some of this macaroni salad for Adam this is actually really good macaroni salad surprisingly enough at Walmart um, so if you like macaroni salad give this a try you can take that for lunches this week I got two boxes of just regular Kraft macaroni and cheese um, tortillas for both tacos and um, quesadillas. I have a recipe that calls for Oreos. I only need like eight Oreos or something like that, but I just went ahead and got one of the small packages of um, the double stuff. Mm. I got some Go Go Squeeze. This is apple cinnamon. Um, the kids like this for breakfast or to throw in their lunch. This is a new item. I, I can't remember. I think I saw someone get these on YouTube in a grocery haul, but I can't remember who. This is Nature Valley Krispy Creamy Wafer Bars. So they're not exactly healthy. Um, they seem to have a lot of calories in them, 200 per bar, but I thought we'd give them a try anyway. See if we like them. Um, I got some ranch dressing because we were out of that and then some of the Capri Sun Grape Roar Roaring Waters. That's the kind that the kids like. Okay, so I got some of the nacho cheese cups to keep in the pantry. These are nice because you can just microwave them um, right in there and they're kind of single serve. You don't have to open a whole can of, of nacho cheese. And then I got two of these just cracking eggs. I don't like to have these for breakfast during the week sometimes. So this one is the uh, ultimate scramble and this one is the Denver scramble. So you just put egg in there. You nearly put one egg or two eggs in these Adam. This is just cracking egg. Do you put one or two eggs in there? Well, one. Oh. If preparing with two eggs, follow the above instructions and increase time to 50 seconds. Uh, never used two eggs. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so I got these a few weeks ago, and Connor really likes them. They're just like the Nutrigrain bars, except they come in the little bites and they're like individual pouches. So I grabbed those. I got some wheat thins and then I got some easy cheese because every once in a while I like to buy this. I know it's not healthy, uh, but it is delicious on wheat thins. So I got that. I got some crushed tomatoes for a uh, bolognese sauce recipe, um, some spaghettios for the kids. And uh, yes, we like this Texas toast now more than the Walmart brand. It's $1.75 more expensive. I looked at it today but um, it's much better than the Great Value brand, in my opinion. Uh, I got some dill pickles for, this is the kind that we usually like to have on like hamburgers and stuff. And then I was running very low on soy sauce, so I usually like to get the Kikoman Less Sodium Soy Sauce, and then we were running low on Worcestershire, Worcestershire, oh God, Worcestershire sauce. I used to get so much crap on my videos because I would say Worcestershire, because that's how it says, Worcestershire. But then everyone was like, no, it's Worcestershire. So, okay, I'm going to try. I'm try to say it, say it better. All right, I got some uh, chili no beans in a can. Uh, this is for chili dogs. If somebody wants it, I got some Reese's Puffs. Um, Connor really likes those, that kind of cereal. So does Adam. And then I grabbed some of these um, sausage biscuits. These are good breakfast um, 
for the kids or Adam eats them sometimes too. You just put them in the microwave. And then I got some uh, tater tots, some chicken strips. I don't know if you've ever tried this brand before, but it's just the Tyson brand. And then some uh, fish for fish sandwiches. I got a couple different kinds of buns. I wanted to get a package of buns just to keep in the freezer. Um, so I grabbed an extra one of hamburger buns and then I got some hot dog buns for the hot dogs. I got some chicken taquitos. These are really good in the air fryer if you have an air fryer. Um, if not, you can just make them in the oven. I think you can make them in the microwave, but I personally wouldn't do that because I feel like they get soggy. Um, I got some Doritos for um, in case anyone wants like walking tacos with the taco meat. So I know I've talked about this before, but uh, we call, so if you don't know what a walking taco is, it's basically like a little bag of Doritos that you kind of crush up and then you put taco meat in there and like cheese, lettuce, sour cream, whatever you normally put on a taco. But they sell them around here at like, you know, snack bars and like sporting events and stuff like that. But anytime I make a taco salad with Doritos, I just call it a walking taco. So if you hear me say that, that's what that is. Uh, and then I got one bottle of red wine that I needed for a recipe. I don't need the whole bottle, but obviously. So I just got the Pothic red. And then, uh, okay, so if you like caramel and cheddar cheese mixed together, this is delicious. Uh, I got this randomly at a gas station one time when we were traveling, and it's so good. This is the Smart Food Caramel and Cheddar Mix. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I, I don't think I've actually ever bought this at Walmart before. I've seen it there. Um, but I went ahead and got some today. I got some mini pretzels and then just some regular potato chips because we do have some French onion dip in the refrigerator. And then I got two packages of the zero sugar, zero calorie sparkling water, one peach and one mandarin orange. And then a 12 pack of the clear American ice. This is just like the ice brand name drinks except the Walmart brand is a lot cheaper. It's like $4 cheaper. And um, these are pretty good. So there's black raspberry in there. The cherry lemonade is really good. And then there's a peach also. Um, and then lastly, this is not included in the food total. Um, Connor had like a fast charger for his iPad. I have no idea where it went. And so I went ahead and got another one. So now that I've bought one, I'm sure that we'll find the other one. Uh, but I don't know. This, this says it's a fast charger. The one that we have right now charges super slow and you know, we always have a shortage of chargers around here. So that is everything I got this week. Let me share with you the meal plan.